It is 2.30 in the morning on Mauna Kea, and I am finishing up some of my time-lapse scenes. Um, I'm going to show you one of my camera placements here. It's in a rather sketchy place. So, we have the telescope out here. Not sure how well you can see this. Uh, with the night sky. And here's my camera. Uh, this is the 60 and a Sigma 14 1.8 and as you can see it's super unbalanced and I have a 20 pound metal weight just sitting on uh, one of the legs of the tripod so it doesn't pitch over and fall a hundred feet down onto the dome floor. That would be bad. So this is the sketchiest tripod placement I have done yet. I am at the roof of Subaru Observatory. The telescope is below the sheet metal here. And through the crack, we have a couple hundred foot drop that I don't want to drop the camera down. And so I have two cameras set up over here. And they're both timers. And it's going to be interesting. So, I have the 60, the grip, or powered by a LiPo from a Arduino. Um, and this is gonna try to trigger it for some nighttime, or for some twilight exposures, and then it'll do long exposures at nighttime. And then here I have the A6000, um, also powered by a LiPo. And both of these I have gaff taped to heck. I have like 15 feet of gaff tape in use here. Just everything is tied down, um, even like the feet of the tripod. Because this whole thing is gonna shift backwards, and then this will be hanging out with like a 100 foot drop in the wind. Um, the floor is gonna retract, the roof is gonna open up. This is the uh, where the dome itself opens, and hopefully the time lapse comes out. And I really just don't want these to blow down onto the telescope or whatever. So let's hope for the best. So to put things in perspective, this is the telescope down there. There's the big drop off. And this is the sheet metal that I was on top of. And so this whole, this whole sheet metal thing is gonna slide behind the telescope. And then the telescope tilts down to the uh, left side. So I have the cameras on the left side of the sheet metal, and it'll be looking down uh, on the telescope as it's open.